Hi and welcome to a new build episode on my channel. Finally, I found some time to start a build of my uh, fun cup from Multiplex. It's a 1.4 meter fun cup, but I have the idea to do a clip wing cup. And today I want to talk about the modifications I did on the wing. This is just the part I did so far. I didn't touch the fuselage or elevator or rudder, just built on the wing. The most important step I had to do is to cut out a piece of each wing. The wingspan is 1.4 meter uh, with original uh, wing size. And what I did, I just cut it out around 10.5 centimeters of each wing, which means that all the inner part of the wing is gone. And I have to do also some modifications on the fuselage to fit the modified wing perfectly on the existing fuselage from the original fan cup. That was the most difficult part, just to get a really straight cut and everything fits perfect together. And the result you can see here, the wing is now with a wingspan of around 1.2 meters, 1.19, something like this. The reason why I did this is because I didn't like the aerobatic capabilities with the 1.4 meter wingspan. It was just too light for this big wing. So the target was to reduce the wing size to make it feel better in the air to fly aerobatics. So let's have a closer look at the wing. First, what you can see is that there is no more V-shape. The wing is just straight, just one line. When we have a look at the lower side, you can see there is a carbon rod just straight through the wing. This makes sure that the wing is pretty stiff, also lighter. Then there are a few other modifications. In the center, there is a plate built in in the wing to make the connection between the two halves super stiff. And on the top side, to fit the screws, the original screws, there is also some 8mm tube inside the wing that the screws fit perfect. I still use the original screws. The only modification I do on the screws is the shrink tube I have put around the top end of the screw. And the reason is pretty simple. When I put the screw into the hole, the diameter of the screw fits perfectly within the uh, shrink tube in the wing and like this I have a perfect close-up to the surface of the wing and like this the whole wing looks pretty smooth. You also can see the connection between the two wing halves is a perfect straight line so I'm really happy with the result how I was able to put the halves of the wing together. The next modification was on the ailerons and flaps. I don't use the flaps, so I just use the whole size of the rudder as aileron. For this I had to connect a flap and aileron to, into one piece. And because I had to cut down the size of the whole rudder because of the shorter wing, I was able just to take off a little piece of this cut out rudder to put it in in the gap between the flaps and the aileron. And I also put it in some real hinges and as you can see the advantage is that I'm able to go for at least 45 degrees up and down, up even more but down at least 45 degrees like this. The rudder goes much more easy. Uh, no stress for the servo at all until the, the full angle of the rudder. Another thing is the rudder horn. The original rudder horn looks just like this and they are just glued onto the surface of the rudder. And this is not a really good mount for the rudder horns. So I decided to go with some custom made uh, carbon rudder horns which are uh, glued into the rudder. So I had to cut down the rudder and put in the, the horn and like this, the connection is much more precise and much stronger than with this original solution here. 
Then let's have a look at the center part of the wing at the rear end. The rear end is because of the short wing version is also a piece of the original flaps. And what I had to do is at the upside and at the lower side I had to put in some material to close the gap between the flap and the wing itself. On the top side I used some elapore from, from the wing which I have cut down and on the lower side there was a bigger gap so I used some balsa wood to close the gap and like this the rear end is perfectly stiff and no more moving of this part of the wing. Then we have some gaps we had to close because these were the original mounts for flaps and also for the aileron as you can see it here the same on both sides and here the same thing too and I just used some plastic which comes from my original uh, MDM1 Fox cockpit which I didn't use I did a, a custom made wooden cockpit and so I was able to cut down some plastic stripes like this and just cut it into pieces to to fill up all the gaps which were made to mount the original hinges to all the rudders. And the final modification on the wing are these two carbon pieces which are around the area of the servo on both sides. The reason why I did this is to put on some carbon tubes which go from the wing point here to the lower side of the fuselage just to make the wing more stiff on the fuselage. So I'm really happy with how it worked out with the wing modifications. That was the most exciting part of the build and there will come out some other videos with the fuselage modifications and rudder and elevator modifications but this was really the hardest part and I'm pretty happy how it worked out. So that was it for today. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Happy flying. Bye bye.